Well, about five years ago, we created the Smarter Smaller Home, a smaller, cheaper to construct building, fully furnished with a fridge and a dishwasher and an air conditioner and their plates, knives, forks and spoons, completely secured what we have here today is a 65 square metre home for two families. We've taken Caesar stone benches, we've taken the best of the products in ovens and, and, and light, lightweight material usages. We've created beds that fall out of walls so that when you finish they go back in the walls. So when you walk into that space, it is purely entertainment space. It can transform into eating spaces, sleeping spaces. So we've removed all of the dinosaur rooms, everything that is unfunctional. It's incredibly affordable because you can build it on your existing home. You can attach it without any land content. We're not adding more rate base to the problem. We're not adding more council fees and charges. We're talking about building this whole home for two families for about $100,000 attached to your existing home. We've been playing with um, lightweight materials for probably 20 years now. So the research we've got now is so uh, massive that we didn't really have a choice but to use lightweight material. Why not brick? Well, for starters, brick is a, a kind of a one size fits all product. If you start creating smaller houses with brick, it's too heavy a material. I lose 5% internal space right up front. All we're doing here is we're connecting this product straight to our frame. We don't have cavity issues that we have with brick. So we're not adding something outside of the space, we're going straight onto that space. That saves me 5% straight up. Why the hell wouldn't I do that? It's just common sense. JH Sky on Cladding actually passes the knock test. It's a product that's strong, it's fire resistant, it'll handle water. It, it just lasts the distance, but more importantly, it gives me architectural choices. So we've used external claddings in our wardrobe spaces. We've used external cladding to recreate that BJ tongue and groove look in living areas because it's going to last the distance, it takes the knocks. We've used it externally in a number of different methodologies. We've used it as vertical or as horizontal to create different architectural outcomes. We've used it in our eaves. We've pretty well used it on our decking to show that it's possible to create an incredible solution of fire resistant product that's also pretty good in water and, and just lasts the distance of inheritable real estate. It's, it, 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 it even has a 15 year paint guarantee. So it, it's very good in terms of its ability to not only work early in the piece, but it lasts the distance of time. What we're building here is a home that lasts the distance of a home. It can be passed on. I partnered with James Hardy and they've allowed me with them to change the face of how we see housing. And every step of the way we've done that, decade by decade.